Hey, hey, hey guys! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Adventure Friday with me, Renee, your host and co-host here, Trouble with Tish. So we are at Clark's, Clark's Creek Trail in Puyallup, Washington. It's a beautiful day as you can see. Blue skies. Yes, ma'am. They do have bathrooms here just so you're well informed. Um, yeah, so we're going to do our little hike today and I took my son to the dentist this morning and uh, he said that he may want to come with us next week. So we'll see. Things change from day to day with him. So he could say today he wants to come and the next week he's going to be like, I don't want to go. Okay, fine. Bye. All right. We'll be back guys. Look guys, they have sign language on the park here. I think I brought Junior here when he was like in preschool. A-I, sign language, S, sign language, American sign language. Okay, yeah, ha ha, I remember some of it. All right, so this is where we're gonna be starting, over here. And uh, the trail's how long? 2.2 miles? I think it said an incline to like 265 is the elevation or something like that. So yeah, excited to see what's in store for us on this hike. Do you enjoy being outdoors during the summer months? Do you hate bug bites? Well, so do I. And I had a big lesson last week when, when me and Tish went to, I can't remember, where we were, the... The Nisqually. The Nisqually es, estuary. estuary. I got some bug bites and they were very painful and itchy. So I remembered to bring this with me today. It's sunscreen from Avon SPF 30. Don't forget your bug spray, guys. They also have an off-leash dog park here. Are so you, you can bring your your pups along. Aww. You can bring your, your little furry friends with you and uh, hang out at the dog park. So yeah, that's pretty cool. the awfully stark park right there. <laughs> Motorized vehicles prohibited. Beware the bear. Um... There have been reports of a black bear. Please practice caution while using the trail. Never run from a bear. If you see a bear before it notices you, stand still and don't approach. Then move away quietly in the opposite direction. If you encounter a bear that's aware of you, don't run, running may trigger a chase response, back away slowly in the opposite direction and wait for the bear to leave. Uh, well, that might not be a problem because I'd probably be so scared I wouldn't know what else to do. Puella Loop Trail. So like if you got a phone or a camera, camera, you can scan that and it'll probably give you all the information on the trail. So let's hope we don't encounter the black bear. That'd be kind of scary, dude. <laughs> For reals. Like, I think Tish is trying to kill me. I literally think she's trying to kill me. She's all, whoa, whoa. So I'm like looking around thinking there's a bear sighting. Thanks a lot, Tish. And we're looking at this right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks kind of like, I don't know. It's like a little tree teepee. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can. 
Now I just need to breathe and calm my heart rate down because it's going a mile a minute right now. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tish. Trying to freak me out. So we just came up a little bit of an incline right back behind us. <sighs> it's beautiful here. And hopefully that bug spray helps. Avon, skin so soft. Bug spray and SPF. Dun, 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 dun. I'll let you guys know how it works. Hopefully I don't have any bug bites when I get home today. So we'll find out. Wow, this is, this is really beautiful here. Look at all like the ivy growing up. I think it's, well, I don't know what it's called, but growing up the trees there. Look at that. Sun poking through right there. Beautiful. We're at 225 elevation. I can't remember how high it goes, but it's nice that it has these little arrows pointing us in the way. Oh, look at this. Cool. I wish there was some like water around here somewhere, like a creek or a lake. I mean, there's one kind of down by where you come in, but I don't think there's one up here. I'm not sure how much more elevation we have to go, like maybe, maybe 30, 20, 30. So we're pretty, pretty close to the top. And then it's gonna be all downhill from there. And let's just say, I think that we're both looking forward to that right now. So yeah, check back in with you later. Alright you guys, so we just came down from up there, which was not a very easy thing, and it turns out we, we didn't even to... have to, we were supposed to go that way. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my frog, but at least it connects with this trail, so. Right. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Well yeah, that was an experience to put in the memory books. Ugh. All right. That's crazy. We could have just stayed up there. Wow. Well. Whoops. So this is where the trail would have brought us out. And Tish went up there and looked. And she said it probably wasn't quite as steep, but less traveled path. A lot of footholds. A lot of footholds. But probably more spider webs and bugs that haven't been interrupted. We come down this way. Oh, is there one out here yeah. too? Oh my Jesus. Yeah, that would have been the way we should have gone. <laughs> uh, well, lesson learned for next time. For sure. And we're almost to the end, guys. We're almost to the end. It was a good hike. Good hike. We're at the end, guys. Coming out right here to the parking lot. It's a bit of an incline. They have people riding mountain bikes here, too. So, if you're a bike rider... This would be a good place to come. You'd, it's pet friendly. Um, yeah. And there's lots of different, like, when you use the all trails, it'll show you, like, the main trail. And then it has, like, little perforated lines that kind of show you, like, little trails that go around inside the, the big trail. So you don't have to stay on the one. Um, so that's pretty cool. That way you can like avoid big hills like what we ended up encountering. Is it water down there? I don't know. I don't it like it. Is it? Yes. The creek maybe? Hence why it's called it's what it's wow. called. Coal, coal Creek? Is that what it is? Something Creek. Cold Creek. Clark's Creek. Clark. Clark's Creek. The sign is right there. Dun, 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 dun. Clark's Creek Park. The water looks really clear. You gonna go for a swim, Tish? <laughs> it looks nice. It doesn't seem like it's stagnant. 
Oh, it's so nice and cold. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting wet in the water. Because we're both pretty hot and sweaty right now. Just saying. All right. I'll check back in. guys this is hella freaking cool like the water's right here and these people they have their houses like right that would be awesome like i wouldn't need to live like on a lake or a beach i could just live like right here on a creek it is super clear isn't it wow There's too bad it's so expensive like to live down here in puelop like five six hundred thousand dollars for a freaking house like insane what shadow is yeah. That's so clear. This is hella cool, dude. Can you imagine having a house right there? That's what I'm saying. I would absolutely love it. I don't need to live on a lake or the beach. This would be perfect. Look at that beautiful blue car up there. You guys see that? That beauty right there? Yeah. That's my new baby. And we named her today. I was trying to figure out a name for her. And uh, I was gonna think, I was thinking blue maybe, but then I was like, no, I don't wanna name it the color. And then Tish said, how about Tiffany? Because Tiffany blue is my favorite color. Hence, this is a beautiful blue, so why not name her Tiffany? So this is my new baby, Tiffany. Isn't she pretty? I gotta get my keys. This is the inside. She's so clean. When I took my son to the dentist this morning, he's on it. Smells like a new car. I'm like, yeah, buddy, because it is. Look at that. So clean. I'm probably gonna go to, I don't know, Walmart and pick up some things. And then this is the back. Nice, right? Nice. All right, guys. All right, so we went 6,600. No, 6,068 steps, burned 624 calories, and 83 uh, active minutes. Not bad. So 83, 60 is an hour, right? So about an hour and 20 some minutes. That's not bad. I think we did good. So thanks for hanging out with us again uh, for another Adventure Friday. And hopefully we'll have a special guest named Sean Jr. next week that will come with us. Um, so... If you're new to the channel, I hope that you will go down below, hit that subscribe button. It's free, you guys. Doesn't cost anything to come hike on these adventures with us every week. Like, it's totally free, so why wouldn't you want to join? And then turn up the notification bell. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. And uh, you can see, just come over for the, oh my god, that bee's huge. You can come over for the Adventure Fridays or whatever interests you. Give the video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and say hi. Let We're me know that you stopped by. Lives over here with and, these. Yeah. And go check out Trouble with Tish. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.